What is up, people? So today is the second day of the cut, and we're gonna hit a quick upper body session. My pre-workout will be like five rice cakes because I'm too busy right now from work. And my lower back is kind of stiff, kind of still injured, but fight through it and try and get the best workout I can. Peace. <laughs> Okay, so today's workout was a upper body workout. It's like my second workout since two months, so it was kind of rough on my body and everything was bad and didn't have the proper technique for everything, And but I kept pushing. So for the first exercise, we're doing incline bends. So you see me here repping the warm up. I just try to get my technique on point, try to remember the proper technique so I can get back even stronger this time. So here you see me rubbing out. I try not to put some, too much weight because my lower back will hurt and everything, but I did like 10 reps and it was pretty hard, let's say. I did like three sets of 10 on each exercise and I tried to use my mind muscle connection as better as I can. Okay, so for the next exercise, we have the lat pull down. So I was a little bit scared to do it without, uh, because of my lower back injury, but I didn't feel any pain. So I just used the best technique I could and focused on and pulling with my lats. Thank God I didn't have any pain after the exercise. Now to you guys, this is not the most intense workout, but I do this just to document how Coming from back from an injury should be like, okay, so for the third exercise, we got flat dumbbell press. So this is also a little bit frightening for me because of going back with a weight so heavy. I should have went with a lighter weight this time, but my ego was too big. <laughs> Nonetheless, I got the job done three sets of eight, sometimes five, using that mind muscle connection. Next exercise is dumbbell rows and an incline bends. So this is a really good exercise for engaging the lats and everything. When I do it, I try to pull my elbows and almost try to pull the weight into my pocket, slowly and controlled. Also, when I pull to the top, as you can see, I try, also as you can see, when the weight reaches the top of the moment, I try to contract the back for one to two seconds just to have a better contraction overall. So the next exercise is lateral side raises. This is one of my favorite exercises. And my friend was there telling me to go slower and try not to lower the weight so much in order to not break the contraction. And he was right. That burned me the fuck out. And here we have the last two exercises. First is the pressure curl which I'm just wrapping out just to warm up the biceps in order to go for the first proper set. Then you can see me going almost to failure, which is my goal. But I tried getting into failure in this set because I do not feel my biceps so well. And as you can see, on the, as the weight declines, I go even more slower and slower. So for the last exercise, we have Overhead tricep extension, which is one of my favorite exercises as well because it, it targets the long head of the triceps and it's a really good movement. You should try it. As you can see, I'm trying to keep a perfect technique, lower the weight and have the perfect range of motion. That's what it matters. And for a finisher, I just do my back stresses, my lower back stresses, because I have to do them every single day in order to relieve my back pain and train properly. So that's all, hope you liked it. This is my physique right now, I know it's not the best, but with proper diet and proper nutrition, I will get back as, as soon as I can. Peace to everyone, have a great workout, have a great life, keep crushing your goals, and I'll see you until the next one. Peace.